Hey everybody and welcome to Koi Pond Lifestyle. So you've clicked the trailer button, so you're not quite sure what the channel's all about. I'll tell you what, I'll put some really short clips on of just some of the things we've been getting up to over the last 12 months. And you can decide yourself whether to subscribe, like, ding the bell for notification and share to everybody else. So let's crack on, I'll show you some clips. So just do a bit of a comparison. This is, this is the old tank and here's a new one. So there you go, a bit of a comparison of sizes. Okay, so there it is. The uh, upgraded upside down aquarium, whatever you want to call it, all done. Yeah, this place we're going tonight, dead excited. But Steve said, yeah, yeah, don't forget, actually go around and see it. You've got to keep your stun where it is, so you're not allowed to tell anybody where it is. And it's a private collection. The guy likes to keep it nice and private. So I said, what's, what's the idea then? Put me in the car, put a bag on me head. <laughs> Is this really necessary? Wow. Can you believe what I've got over my right shoulder? A lot of the fish are over are a meter. A meter fish. Some of the chagoys in here and, and the Yamabuki, there's a Yamabuki in here, which is, I, I just. <laughs> oh, happy smiley face again, that's superb. Right, so, good. So I'm gonna leave that off for the time being until I can think of something else. So I've got some brand new jam mat, jam mat in there that needs some bacteria. So if you, Phil from Telford Koya, I've seen his balls. He used these, these pure pond balls. So what have we got on today? Show day! Yes, it's that time of year again. The BKKS. He's on in commentary today. This time, I'm traveling all the way to Newark. Yeah, I think this is the last Koi show of this season, I think. It's the one in Dudley, the Birmingham and West Midlands Koi Society thing. I think that's them anyway. Right, bag on back. Let's go, let's go give some oatcakes away. I hope get rid of these things quick, because my bag's heavy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andy. He's up totally and at least keep it at a level where it's not going to freeze up and it's not going to damage your pipe work yeah, yeah. And, and hopefully be beneficial to yeah, the fish. Yeah. Right, I'm in the fish pit. So obviously I've come to pick up a fish. Fantastic. Six year old shower, 55 cm's, covers. I've got to get better at when I store my covers, storing them properly. Cheese today. <laughs> so I got three of these to fix today. This sheet was donated by one of my subscribers. Thank you, Jam. Right, so I'm going to wrap these up because I won't need these now until next summer. My KPL waste extractor is working quite well, still. Tub says leave it. Oh, this is what I'm using, by the way. But he wants to know. Right, it's that time of year when the water temperatures are going really going down now. But I thought it was quite an opportunity to have a quick chat and look at carp pox. So, carp pox, or also known as Cyprinid herpes virus 1, which is a, which is a cousin of the Cyprinid herpes virus 3. So there you go, a little bit of a snippet of what we've been doing on Cold Pine Lifestyle recently. So if you like what you see, by all means, click the subscribe, like, ding the bell for notifications and share to all your friends. Thanks very much for watching and welcome to Koi Pine Lifestyle. <laughs>